what is going on here? I got three knives on the table and we're not going to talk about any of them specifically. All right, today we're going to talk about a subject that comes up all the time in the knife community. And I wanna go ahead and weigh in on this because I wondered this myself. Now you can see right here, this is just an easy example. I've got a knife here. It's got the phosphor bronze washers on it. This one's got the Teflon washers on it. And this one actually has, uh, you can't see, uh, it's actually got a phosphor bronze, there we go, washer on this side and a Teflon washer on that side. So this knife is actually what got me thinking about this more. It's got one of each and I was wondering why they may have done that. I did email them, we'll see if they get back with me on whether or not there's a reason that they did that or if this was just a fluke or something else. But being interested in the field that I am and a studying engineer, I wanted to go ahead and approach this a different way than most people do. Most people compare the knives, they've got a lot of experience between the two different washer types and they've got their opinion. Now I'll tell you right now that regardless of what I say, Phosphor bronze are what I prefer. Why? They're pretty. All right, in the end, it doesn't make a lot of difference because there's, if you look at the numbers on, on any of the washers, they're all close enough that you would actually need a device to tell the difference. Now, what it actually comes down to on whether a knife flips extremely fast and smooth is actually the design and the fit and finish of the knife itself. So let me go ahead and just dive on into this. What I did to, to figure this out in the end was they have these wonderful, wonderful things for engineers. Now this one's from Engineering Edge that actually gives you the coefficient of friction, which means that it gives you a number that relates to the amount of friction that's caused per unit. So if you look at this one here, you can see that they list the material, the material that it's against, dry contact and lubricated contact. We're gonna look at dry contact because lubricated contact, you have to start to take into account for the the oil that's used and I'm not sure what what engineering edge used for their comparisons so and they don't even list one for for the the bronze itself so real quick let's let's look at the phosphor bronze phosphor bronze against steel has a 35 a 0.35 now this is in I believe it's in mu f but since we're comparing it to itself, that's not too important. We know that when they did their testing, they came up with 0.35 as the coefficient of friction for phosphorus bronze against steel. Now, if we go ahead and look further down, we'll see steel against steel. So we'll go ahead and compare this because why not use steel washers? Well, steel against steel has a coefficient of 0.80. So clearly that phosphorus bronze is less than half the coefficient of friction as the steel versus steel. Now in addition to that you also must take into account that if they didn't use washers at all and they went ahead and had steel liners against a steel blade there's going to be a lot more surface contact which means that this 0 0.80 is compounded over that amount of surface as opposed to if you put a washer on it. So if you're comparing the same size washer against the same size washer you're gonna have a much higher coefficient of friction of that steel against steel as opposed to the bronze, the phosphor bronze against steel. Now if we look down to the Teflon against steel, it's a 0 .04. A 0 .04. That is a huge difference between that phosphor bronze against the steel and the Teflon against steel. Now obviously the Teflon is cheaper and I think the issue today and the reason why a lot of people believe that phosphor bronze is more slippery against the steel, which it is very slick, let me add, compared to a lot of other substances. So it is a great washer for its job. But the reason that people tend to believe that these phosphor bronze washers are just 
so amazing. They're, they're so much more slick. Well, they're a more expensive washer. The material costs more. Now, there are other, other things to weigh in, and I'll get, I'll get to that in a moment, but let's go ahead and take a look at another one here. And just to compare, this is another company, uh, the Engineering Toolboxes, who released this, and I'm not sure where they got their numbers from, whether they did the testing themselves or not, but we'll look at the Phosphor Bronze just to compare against, and we've got that .35 again, which tells us that this, this engineer, or the uh, engineer's edge must be accurate because it was reproducible, or at least somewhat accurate. Now we'll go ahead and look at the steel against steel again, and we're looking at, we're not looking at the uh, one with lubrication or the one that's already moving because things drop then. Now this steel versus steel, they've got a 0.5 to 0.8, which again matches up with the engineer's edge results. Now we'll go ahead and go down to the PTFE, so the Teflon, against steel, and we've got a 0.05 to a 0.2. Now once again, this 0.04 is very close. So we can go ahead and, and assume that our, our data that we're looking at is pretty right on. We know that it's within a certain number range. So taking just that into consideration, we know without a shadow, shadow of a doubt that the, the Teflon washers are actually quite a bit more slick and provide less resistance for that blade to, to come out of the knife than your phosphor bronze washers, which is why on those more expensive knives you will see on occasion Teflon washers instead of those touted, or I don't know if touted is the right word, but, but those oh-so-loved phosphor bronze washers. Now, while we're talking about washers, let's take a look at at the uh, nylon. Now, nylon was extremely hard to find results for because it's not used as often in a washer format. Uh, so, so looking at this, we see the steel on nylon, which most of the time it's nylon on nylon, so that's why it's so hard to find. And this is a different one, so this is a different order. But this is Mech Guru, and we see a 0.35. So essentially, a nylon washer versus a bronze washer, you're essentially getting that same coefficient of friction. It's it it's not going to make a difference as far as friction goes. Now let's go ahead and talk about some other things that that may have an effect on whether people like a washer or not. Now Teflon itself is a thinner material. It, it is non-corrosive, which is a, a big plus for those nylon, or the, not nylon, the Teflon. Nylon as well, but, but Teflon washers, they're non-corrosive, so they're not going to corrode or anything. They're more chemical resistant, so they can't get eaten away by chemicals as easily. Now, on the downside, though, these are a little bit more fragile. They're, they're squishier, so your tolerances have to be a lot more exact if you want to get rid of the blade play entirely. And it, it won't be an issue if you're done, or if it's done correctly. And that's part of the reason I feel like they may have done a Teflon washer on one side and a bronze washer on the other for this knife, is because it has so many moving joints in it. Having a washer that's a little bit squishy allows for a little bit more slop and for that knife to move a little bit more easily if something's just a little bit off. Say, this gets pushed out a little bit and these get spread you're still going to have a knife that functions extremely well. So that's my hypothesis on why this knife is containing one of each. I have also, by the way, heard of knives that contain both a phosphor bronze and a Teflon washer. I'm not entirely sure why you would do that, but if you wanted to, then you're getting more of more of the benefits of the slickness of the Teflon and a little bit more thickness. So possibly you're getting in less blade play easier if machined properly. But then again, if you're going to those lengths, you might as well just machine it properly and put those, those Teflon ones in there. Now the phosphor, phosphorus bronze, phosphor, sorry, not phosphorus, phosphor bronze 
washers. I've, I've probably been saying that throughout the entire thing. I mean phosphor bronze, not phosphorus bronze. The phosphor bronze, they are thicker, which allows for a little bit more control over the amount of blade play because because it's thicker because it's a harder substance you can machine exactly what you want and it's going to be really tight tolerances now the teflon's a little bit thinner and it's more squishy you wouldn't want thick teflon i wouldn't think because you would have even more squish it would it would be even more spongy so with that, you might get more blade play. I'm not saying that you will. Every knife is designed a little bit differently, so you may or may not. I don't have a ton of experience with knives that are made between the two. I have a little bit. Now, in addition to that, the phosphor bronze tends to be more durable against, say, grit, dirt, things that would want to tear it up. So if you're choosing a knife that you're going to go outside, work in the mud with, and so on and so forth, you might actually want that phosphor bronze instead because it's going to resist that dirt and grime a lot better without the chance of ripping, tearing, getting embedded with dirt, so on and so forth, because you can simply take it out, clean it off, and it's just like your knife blade. You wipe it off, and you're good to go again. So that's just kind of my way in on it. I, again, like I said, I like the Phosphor Bronze more. Honestly, it takes an extremely high precision machine to actually measure the difference between the Phosphor Bronze and the Teflon washers. So as far as which one flips better, which one creates the best slide for the knife, Teflon, hands down, will. That being said, if a knife that is not made well uses Teflon washers, and then you have a knife that is made better using those bronze washers, of course the bronze one's going to, going to flip better. It all comes down to the actual manufacture of the knife. Was it made right? Are the tolerances right? So don't let the washer type deter you from a knife. So you, say you see this knife, well... It's got those Teflon washers. Ah, I don't want that knife. But maybe another one that's similar has the phosphor bronze ones. If you like the phosphor bronze ones, go for it. But the Teflon ones are a lot cheaper, and it's not because they're lower quality. It's simply because it's a cheaper material. Bronze is, phosphor bronze is, it's a metal. It's more expensive. It it takes a lot more manufacturing to get that washer out of it rather than just punching the Teflon washers out. So that's where your your price difference comes in between the two. So I'm probably beginning to ramble at this point and I'm going to go ahead and shut up. But if you want my opinion on it, I like Phosphor Bronze more. I personally cannot tell the difference between whether it's a Phosphor Bronze or a Teflon washer when it's flipping out because if the knife is adjusted properly they're going to both flip out great. The only reason I like the Phosphor Bronze better, I think it's just pretty. It adds a design element to it. You've got a little bit of color there and it, it looks higher end. It looks higher end. So guys, that's my opinion. I haven't seen anyone else approach this subject in this this way before so I wanted to go ahead and take the opportunity to kind of look at the numbers the actual numbers on it talk about that instead of just talking about my experience with it so I hope that you all enjoyed this y'all <laughs> y'all enjoyed this video if you did and you want to see more make sure to hit that subscribe button I would really appreciate that and go ahead and leave comments weigh in on uh, on your opinion what do you think of this data do you trust it does it make a difference to you and did you know this already maybe you already knew this and maybe you have a different opinion than me thanks so much for watching guys have a great day